We're trying to find the brightest star, and whoever finds it gets free ice cream tomorrow. I'm going to win. I know the brightest star. Keep listening and find out. Happy Sunday and welcome to Keys for Kids. I'm so glad that you're tuned in. My name is Zach. If you live out in the country and away from the bright city lights, then you know how many incredible stars God has put in the sky. They're beautiful to look at, but there's one in particular that's the most important to know. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 16, Jesus describes himself as the bright morning star. He is the most powerful light in the universe, and one day he'll return to earth to reign as king, along with those who have trusted in him to save them. And now let's listen to our story for Sunday. It's entitled, The Brightest Star. Let's see who can find the brightest star, Garrett said to his sister one hot summer evening as they looked up at the starry sky. The loser has to buy ice cream tomorrow. I don't think you can prove which one is the brightest, said Eden. But she suddenly pointed to the north. That one's mine, that bright one up there, Garrett squinted. I think I see the one you mean, but I see a brighter one, he pointed in another direction. See, right in the middle of that cluster of stars, that one's brighter than the one you found. How do you know that? asked Eden. They continued searching the heavens as they argued about which star was brighter. When Dad came out to tell them it was bedtime, Garrett and Eden told him about their competition and asked him to judge which star was the brightest of all. Okay, I'll do my best, Dad said, and they pointed out the stars they had chosen. As a judge, said Dad, I declare that neither of those is the brightest star of all. In fact, I think the two of you should buy me ice cream because I know the brightest star personally. What do you mean, you know a star? asked Eden. We're not talking about football or movie stars, you know. Dad laughed. <laughs> neither am I. I'm not talking about a star in the sky, either. I'm talking about Jesus. In the last chapter of the Bible, which talks about the day he will return to earth as king, he's called the bright morning star. On that day, he will put an end to the darkness of sin and evil forever and fill the heavens and earth with his light. And everyone who knows him as their savior will reign with him for all eternity. I'd say that's the brightest star of all, wouldn't you? Okay, Dad. Garrett grinned at his father as he got up to go inside. But no treat. You weren't in on the deal. And you're not the only one who knows the brightest star personally, added Eden. We know Jesus, too. Well, then, said Dad, since you've both found the brightest star, how about I buy all of us an ice cream tomorrow? So how about you? Do you know Jesus, the bright morning star? When he returns to earth again as king, it will be the morning of a bright new day, a glorious day that will never end. But he wants you to know him as your savior and king now. He invites you to come to him. Trust in him today so you can look forward to a bright future with him that will last forever. To learn more about what it means to trust in Jesus, first get your parents' permission and then go to keysforkids.net slash salvation. Our key verse is found in Revelation chapter 22, verse 16. I am Jesus. I am the bright morning star. And our key thought for today, know Jesus as your Savior. If Keys for Kids is helping you grow closer to God now, what are you going to do as a teenager? Well, you can try reading our Unlocked Teen Devotional. Each day's story will help you understand the Bible and help you become more confident in your faith. Ask your parents to sign up for a free subscription at unlocked.org slash subscribe. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids.